initially. We've cleaned and prepped the whole area sterilely. Put a little betadine, it's an antiseptic cleaning solution. We can image there. And specifically here, I think I'm going to go into the L5S1 inner space as you can see on the monitor. We have a nice AP view of the lumbar vert uh, vertebra. Okay, here comes some numbing medication, okay? Here we go, one, two, three, pinch. This is pretty routine, we're just numbing up the skin. Just like you're going to the dentist, you get some Novocaine and numb up the area prior to any um, tooth extraction. Placing the needle image. Looks pretty good. He has bi equal bilateral leg pain. So we're just going to go right in the midline, right at the area of the disc herniation image. I'm just using an x ray guidance to help guide my path image. Right now we have a standard 2E needle in place. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually ask our radiology tech to uh, get me. A lateral view, please. Okay? As, as you can see, the patient's doing fine. He's comfortable. Just confirming our position. And obviously, we're using fluoroscopy, which gives us the advantage of using multiple views to make sure that we're in the adequate area and in the exact location of the disc herniation. We've confirmed, we've confirmed our needle location with our uh, die which helps us confirm that we're in the epidural space. Now we're just going to aspirate, inject the medication, and that's pretty much it for a bread and butter epidural steroid injection done under purely uh, local anesthetics under fluoroscopic guidance.